The project proposal presented by the instructors of CISC 4900 at Brooklyn College. Let's start first with what is the purpose of this project proposal? The purpose of this document is to document what you're going to work on for your project and also how you're going to complete what you're going to work on. This is going to be given to your instructors for 4900 and it would also be given to your supervisor. It also serves as a record for yourself and also anybody else you might want to share it with. So this is who it would be your audience. In the short run, it'll be just your instructor and your supervisor during this semester. In the future, then you might be worried about the other uh, listed elements here, meaning for yourself when you forgot what you worked on, you know, at some point in a year from now or maybe five years from now, this document serves as a way to remind you what, what you did, how you did it. And then also, if you want to share this with your future employers, you could do that as well. All right, so these are the two fundamental parts of this document. You're going to describe what you're going to work on. You're going to describe how you're going to work on it. For those who want to go above and beyond and take this from just a document that describes what you're working on and how you're working on it, you want to also explain why you are working on this project. You want to describe why you've decided this is a problem worth solving and you want to describe why you've identified your particular solution as the solution to work on. The reasons for stating these don't have to be extremely extravagant here. As long as you are able to come up with a reason, that is fine. We want you to practice documenting these ideas into a single document in this class. So initially, your project proposal is going to describe what you're going to work on this semester, how you're going to work on it this semester, such as your schedule, such as the tools you might use, or any resources. Right? And then your why is just going to explain why you've made decisions along the way. So I'll use this fancy academic word rationale for decision making. So that's the purpose of this document, um, of the project proposal. Okay, so now let's talk about how would you create a document. You're going to start with a document. It could be a text document from your text editor. If you want to keep it plain text, you can also use a word processing software or whatever comes to mind and what you want to use to create this. Now let's talk about the elements that's going to appear in this. And looking at the term requirements listed in the advice handbook, you're going to have the title of your project. You're going to have header information. This is going to involve describing who you are. This is going to describe the time of creation, or I, I guess the date that you are submitting it. And then you're also going to explain your supervisor who is actively following along with the progress of your report. And then also you're going to describe your relationship to that person. Another thing you're going to have on here is descriptions. It's going to be descriptions of the problem, the solution, and the tasks for completing that solution. Now it could be one project that you're working on the whole semester. It could be many problems that you're working on throughout the semester. And then finally, 
in order to create a really comprehensive schedule for yourself, the two to three main goals that you want to achieve that you subdivide into subtasks. And with these two to three main goals, you want to think about your entire schedule of 15 weeks and how you want to divide that up for the different kinds of work that you might be working on. All right, so perhaps if we color code this, it could be just different kinds of work at different points in the semester. And also I'm going to annotate this with, say for instance, I don't know, five weeks to the eighth week, 10th week, 12, 14, 15. This is not drawn to scale, but hopefully you're able to identify certain tasks and activities and when you're hoping to get them done. This kind of serves as a wish list of sorts. So I'll just write that keyword down. This is in 4900. This proposal works a little bit more like a wish list, what you hope to complete. It's not quite a contract, which is maybe what you might be working on if you had a consulting company or you worked for consulting and you are listing like, this is exactly what I'm going to deliver. Let's try to fill in this document with all the elements that you're going to include. All right, so that's the first element. We've got the title of the project. And I'll put today's date and then I also want to label it so that there's no confusion at all. I'm going to then list my supervisor's information. Let's say it's Michael Scott of Dunder Mifflin. All right, this is fictitious, but you get to see like now you have the title and the header. If you have a different contact person to also list, then go ahead and just list them all. But if that's all you've got, that's fine. Okay, that's pretty open-ended there. We're gonna move on to the part that's a little bit more time intensive to fill out. You're going to describe the project. You're going to describe a problem or the context, like the landscape. Like, are you working on an internship? You can describe, I'm working on an internship. Here's the internship. This is what the internship's about. And here's what I'm responsible for and what I'll be working on this semester. And here are some specific ways in which my supervisor is going to communicate to me tasks that I need to do and what I need to do it. Now, for this particular way that it was phrased in the advice handbook, it is for if you're taking the typical approach of having a single problem that you're trying to come up with a solution. So we have here problem. We can say something about how maybe it just takes too much time to calculate the sales tax of different sales orders. Now you should probably write more than a sentence here, but you should describe like, what is the problem that's here? Next thing is some sort of solution. So you're gonna come up with a solution of some sort. Here I've indicated I'll create a calculator. So then maybe I'll describe my schedule So when you describe your tasks, you could either list them all out all at once, or if you want, you can create a schedule, you know, similar like your in your courses where your instructor might set out a course calendar. So let's, let's try to think through how maybe that might look like. Here's just an example. You can visualize however you want to visualize this. So we could take this idea of the visual up here on the top left and maybe expand on that. 
So maybe from weeks one to three, as, as you've noticed on the syllabus, there's the course calendar. You're going to figure out what you're going to work on. Right, here's just some hypothetical tasks that I'm going to outline as part of the initial three weeks. I could be a little bit more detailed and say I'll limit this to half an hour, I'll limit this to 15 hours, I'll limit this to, I don't know, one hour, maybe this three hours and so forth and so on. Um, you can compare stuff, research stuff. And, and so forth, so on. Okay, so you could list out a time frame um, specifically, or you can have a range. You can have to do items listed. You could have subtasks. Pretty much every single decision that you make, every option that you considered, that is all the what and the how and the why, plurals, um, S plurals, of what you're going to have in this document. So in a nutshell, you're going to be thinking about all these different ideas. You're going to think about how to prepare a way to writ in writing form, save all that information, and then structure it. Now to help you structure your proposal, there is a template available as a suggestion of what you might use with the different sections available or the different section headers. Maybe there's extra sections of stuff that maybe you want to put in there, like maybe some sort of diagrams to explain your ideas maybe some sort of uh, biography, biographical information to explain why you are suited to be able to complete this work or why your supervisor is suited to be the supervisor. Um, you can use this as a way to support all of your decision making. You could also, in addition to using it to support that, to also document the final decisions made. So it's part of this whole habit of documenting everything. Documentation is probably the most important thing you have to worry about this semester. So this project proposal is just a way to document. And uh, hopefully you're able to see now the purpose of the document, what it contains is these pieces, these ingredients, and specifically as instructors, we're going to check off and see, did you tell us who you are? Did you tell us who your supervisor is? Did you explain what you're working on, how you're working on it? Did you explain why you worked on it? Now this one, why is a little bit more challenging to come up with. So you can definitely start with the what you're going to do and the how you're going to do it, right? And then come back and fill in more of like why you made the decisions. What are the rationale, the keyword that I was using earlier, the rationale, the reasons uh, for this, this would indicate reasons. So let's use the word reasons here. 
This would be reasons for decisions. All right. As for how you're going to be putting this together, you can follow this example. You can totally come up with your new way of documenting it. If you want to prepare a text version, you know, you could just have it all in a single sequential list. Um, the schedule you can do week by week. Or you can have just maybe goal number one, create the thing. Goal number two, integrate it into the business, make sure that they want to use it. Maybe goal three, add more features and so forth. Now, in a sense, it kind of turns this wish list into something a little bit closer to a contract. All right, but it this is you're doing this for a class. So we want to see you learn along the way. We want to see if you're able to figure out why certain challenges might have been changing how you work on it. Maybe it'll make you have to pivot a little bit in terms of your techniques for finishing something or maybe tweak the objective a little bit, right? You're going to learn a lot along the way. Things that may, may happen that maybe you don't expect, right? So you have maybe set out you want to complete X, Y, and Z. If you can complete it, great. That's not a problem. That's awesome. If you complete it more, where you're able to identify an additional, um, I don't know, W, X, Y, Z, this is great star for you. If you have set out for X, Y, Z, but you end up with X, Y, and then W instead, or you maybe ended up with X, Y prime for slight variation and W, that's okay. You're still completing the goal, right? You're, you're as long as you can offer the solution that you were coming up with. Um, you may end up realizing that you had set out for X, Y, Z, but instead you completely want A, B, C instead because that is the final working thing. And who knows, maybe you discover this in the final few weeks of the semester that that is the thing that you have to do. So hopefully you're able to document enough to show us that throughout the semester, you've been working approximately 15 hours a week on something related to the project and that you are learning stuff along the way and you are planning and managing and reflecting and all of that great academic activity alongside your project work. And so that's basically it for this project proposal. You, you now know the purpose of it, what to put into it, and how you might be able to accommodate for different um, variations. Thanks for watching. And uh, please let, let, let the instructors know if you have any more questions.